Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Jason, you're watching Old Car Guy. Today we're starting the process of putting together the small block 350 for Dale, so stay tuned. Well, there you go, guys. The small block 350 is painted up. I'm not sure I'm sticking with the Chevy Orange, but nevertheless, it's painted up and uh, the block has been decked, it's been honed out, it's been bored 30, sorry, 60 over, and we are just about ready to start slapping parts into that block. But before we can do that, we have got to take inventory of everything that we're going to need to be able to do that. So you saw all the new parts that I bought, now we've gotta go through the old parts, make sure that we've got all the little stuff. So. We're going to start digging through this bucket and we'll talk about what we've got and what we don't have. So we do have eight connecting rods, the caps, the nuts and pistons. As you know, because we switched up to the 60 over, these 30s are no longer any good to us. So what we've got to do is we've got to get the connecting rods off of these pistons and then assembled onto the new ones. So digging through the bucket of bolts that we've got here to see what we have and what we don't have. We do have 16, there they are, 16 push rods. We do have an oil pump as well as the uh, sump filter there and the drive shaft for it. Although we are going to be replacing the pump. We've got a breather for a uh, valve cover, which we don't necessarily need just yet. And in here looks like all the rockers and associated nuts and bolts for those in that small bucket. So we'll have to count those, make sure that they're all there. In here we've got some extra push rods. We've got lifters. We've got another sump, and we've got what looks like the uh, distributor bracket. There's one of the things I was looking for was a thermostat housing, because I didn't know if I had one, but now I know I don't have to go buy one. Oh, there's our distributor lock down right there. Gonna need that. And that looks like it's just a bracket that goes around something for hauling the thing in and out of the vehicle. And there's your throttle bracket, I guess. And I think all the things that are in here are just doubled up from what's in here minus the rocker. So we're gonna go ahead and count the rockers, make sure they're all there. So we've got all 16 rocker arms, uh, now we've got to find all of the pieces that go to it, so we'll start counting those as well. Well, looks like we're going to have to go looking for one more of these, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. So I guess I'm on the hunt for one more of those and then we're going to start looking at getting those pistons switched over, so I'll be right back with you. So I am missing one of these uh, rocker retainer bushing thingies and what they do is they, when the rocker is sitting down over the stud, this goes down uh, inside there and gives it something to pivot on. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. Gives it something to pivot on. Um, gonna have to track down one of those. Anyways, I've got all the retaining nuts there. I guess we can't really do a whole lot more as far as assembly goes until we get those pistons swapped out. Then we can get the crank in, start installing pistons and all that good stuff. So uh, we're going to do our best without the proper equipment to swap those pistons over and you're going to come along for the ride. So stay tuned because it's going to be a fun one. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean I do. That's what YouTube's for. So unfortunately in this next clip uh, was me pressing out and pushing in the uh, wrist pins in the new uh, pistons and the camera didn't pick up the sound. So 
Uh, I'm just going to play a little bit of music and you guys can just watch the uh, time lapse of me pushing one, in, uh, pushing one out and putting the new one on and uh, I'll be back with you here in just a minute. So now that we've got all eight pistons done, here they are sitting here in no particular order, but now what I want to do is I want to take all the caps off before we start putting bearings in and clean up the threads and make sure there's no dirt and grime in there because there is. And we'll get that cleaned up. We've got the brake cleaner and uh, then we'll be able to start putting the, uh, the bearings in. And for now, uh, that's where we're gonna leave this video. We've got the this hurdle out of the way. We're probably got about an hour uh, and a bit tied up into you know looking after our inventory over there and then getting these pistons swapped over. So we're gonna call it quits. In the next episode, we're gonna be laying the crank into the block and uh, getting those bearings put in and getting the, uh, the clearances checked with the plastic uh, gauge and all that stuff. We'll show you all about that. So for now, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. We've got a really a uh, good guest coming up uh, in the near future. This coming week may possibly be just a Legacy X episode um, because we missed a guest at one point. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. Anyways, we're back and forth each week from my channel to Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. I'm gonna put his link up there. And uh, we're getting, getting near the end of season three. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a break over the summer and then we're back at it again for season four. So season four, is confirmed guys uh, I hope you enjoyed everything that you're doing I hope everybody is staying safe I hope that by the time this video goes up that everything will at least we can see the light at the end of the tunnel things start getting back to normal so in the meantime stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror I love you guys God bless let's do it again real soon